Michael, beware six years after a falling out with her former live co-host Michael Strahan, Kelly Ripa acknowledges that she still holds grudges. After he left the show six years ago, she and her former co-host Michael Strahan had a falling out. Kelly was questioned by Ryan Seacrest if she and her husband, Mark Consulos, were a happy pair. Following that, he gave a list of behaviors that contented couples nearly never engage in. Kelly said that they do not avoid difficult topics after being asked by the American Idol host if they do. Kelly claimed that contented couples don't keep score, but when he questioned whether his co-host has resentments, she stumbled through her response, not much. I don't mean genuinely, no, not together, I repeat, but other people, yeah, Kelly chuckled, any resentments in your 35th year here? Ryan queried, we don't harbor resentments toward one another, Kelly said in response. No, she appeared to be in a better mood after that as Ryan asked her more survey-related questions. Prior to Ryan, Michael served as Kelly's live sidekick. Before he went to co-host Good Morning America, they collaborated for four years. Kelly acknowledged that she was upset with him and felt taken aback by his leaving in an interview with Variety. In 2020, the 51-year-old received the information at the same time as the media and took a few days off to process it. Kelly discussed Michael leaving the program with the audience when she came back a few days later, and she emphasized the value of communication, consideration, and, most importantly, respect in the workplace, so that they wouldn't have to deal with the awkwardness between them for too long. Michael's last day on the show was moved early, but the discussion persisted in the media. The former football player stated that he didn't feel like he was a part of the squad on Live in a January 2020 interview with the New York Times Magazine. She continued by discussing it with Variety. According to Page Six, Michael expressed to ABC staff employees back in 2020 that he didn't feel he could stand up and raise his voice on the Live with Kelly set. Michael and Bob Iger addressed racism on June 4 in front of all ABC and Disney staff members. The site's source claims, Michael claimed there were some extremely uncomfortable moments with executives who got combative and loud on the show, and he was very aware he couldn't speak up or raise his voice as he was scared he would be perceived as dangerous. Although Michael didn't specifically mention the show during the conversation, it is said that he made comments about it. The GMA anchor made a suggestion that he and Kelly were having issues in his interview with the New York Times. He admitted that once, when arriving at a previous position, he discovered the team is not the focus. I don't function well under it since it's self-serving. Michael also said I've had gigs where I arrived and realized that I was only supposed to be the sidekick. I believed I had come here to find a partner. He nevertheless made an effort to resolve the problem by holding frequent meetings. The 50-year-old went on to say, I tried to meet with her once every few weeks as one of my efforts. We had a few meetings, which was okay. But eventually she declared that she was unnecessary to meet. The GMA anchor made a suggestion that he and Kelly were having issues in his interview with the New York Times. He admitted that once, when arriving at a previous position, he discovered the team is not the focus. I don't function well under it since it's self-serving. Michael also said I've had gigs where I arrived and realized that I was only supposed to be the sidekick. I believed I had come here to find a partner. He nevertheless made an effort to resolve the problem by holding frequent meetings. The 50-year-old went on to say, I tried to meet with her once every few weeks as one of my efforts. We had a few meetings, which was okay. But eventually she declared that she was unnecessary to meet. No one can be forced to do something they don't want to do. The former NFL great stated he respected his former co-host despite their apparent conflicts. It truly hasn't changed since Regis started the darn thing. If you look at the show, he said. He came up with this equation. It kind of plugs in and works. You develop your storytelling skills. I had a glass of water last night, people would ask. However, you learn how to tell the tale so that it reads like a glass of water. I discovered those things from her. She has that kind of brilliance. I don't dislike her, even if people assume that he does.